the north and south summits of Glass Mountains. Right where the cloud ends on the left is the north summit and the right side is the south summit. Panning along the Glass Mountains comes into view Boundary and Montgomery Peak, the Palisade Ridge Line of the White Mountains, highest sustained ridge over 13,000 13, feet in the U.S. The White Mountains coming into view is White Mountain Peak. Even though we've had clouds in the area over the last few days, the warm, dry weather is expected to continue with the highest temperatures so far in 2024 and the longest dry period since, well, early winter, I guess. We can expect warm and dry weather to continue into the near and even midterm future. It is Friday, April 19th, 2024. Number three. That was my friend Haley practicing fishing or practicing catching fish on the Upper Owens a few days ago. The Upper Owens is open year round and same with Hot Creek and the fishing opener is Saturday the 27th of April. Not too long off. And even though we've had some clouds and light breezes over the last few days, temperatures have been pretty high. It was 81 in Bishop on Thursday, 58 degrees in town, but only 35 degrees at the top of Mammoth Mountain with a south wind at 20 miles per hour in the morning on Friday, the 19th of April, 2024. Have you been practicing your fishing catching skills? Because the fishing opener is only one week away on Saturday the 27th. It's always the last Saturday of April. I think it's going to be a great fishing opener, definitely compared to last year because many of the lakes are already ice free. Silver Lake is uh, pretty much ice free when I looked the other day. Grant Lake is plump full, no ice on that. Convict Lake is open and I'm sure some of the other mid elevation lakes are open and of course Crown as you could see if you look east of town is fully open I don't know if it ever really froze across uh, the whole lake at any time this winter well it was 81 in Bishop on Thursday 58 in town but only 35 degrees at the top of Mammoth Mountain with southwest winds to 20 miles per hour this morning and there's a slight chance of some thunderstorms as weak low pressure system moves through the area today and into the Great Basin by tonight but it could cook up, kick off some isolated showers over the Sierra. It is Friday, Mar uh, April 19th, 2024. Hello everyone, I'm Dan McConnell. Sun's coming up at 6.15 in the morning, sets at 7.35, some long days, and the moonrise today is at 3.50. It's a waxing moon, which is uh, Tuesday the 23rd, is the full pink moon for the appearance of flocks, which is which named that's one of the nicknames of the moon this time of the year in April for the first spring flowers, which is phlox, which is low growth, uh, kind of pinkish flowers that you'll see around in the area. Another nickname uh, that by the Canadian, one of the Canadian indigenous tribes was uh, called the breaking ice moon, which uh, be careful on the upper elevation lakes in the lakes basin here specifically because the snow has been melting really fast on top of the ice layer, which means some of those lower lakes, the twin lakes, probably are starting to open up. So just be careful if you're out around the shorelines, you might just pop through. Um, so whatever, today look for temps near 60 degrees, 20% chance of some sprinkles, lows tonight in the mid 30s, and Saturday and Sunday will be warmer with highs near 70 degrees in town, according to the forecast, and then uh, 
th th dry through the whole period. The next chance of showers is next Wednesday or Thursday, the 24th or 25th. Monday, April 22nd, is Earth Day, so please observe that with the recycling concerns. Uh, the last few days at Eagle Lodge and Canyon Lodge, the Village Gandhi, they clo all close on Sunday. And then next weekend, Canyon Lodge, the Canyon Express, will open for weekend visitors to try to uh, reduce some of the parking up at the main lodge area. And uh, chair one is closed until the new chair is built. Uh, there's 76 groomers up at main uh, up uh, on the mountain today. 92 inches of base depth at the main, 116 at McCoy, 140 at the top, and the season total might be it. Uh, 355. You never know. He could get some rogue storm still in late uh, April or early May, but it really doesn't look like that right now. Uh, accumulated snowfall at the Mammoth Pass area was 93 inches, I guess, and the water content is about 34 inches. 33.68 inches of snow accumulated water content that's up near McLeod Lake in the Lakes Basin. Uh, the backcountry is mostly stable. I've seen a few slush slides around in the area. The road up to the, uh, the McGee Pack Station is open and cleared, as far as I know. And the road up to the Rock Creek Pack Station I know is open, because I drove up there the other day. The other day when I tried to go up McGee, there was a road closed sign, but I think it's open by now. So go scope it out. It's time to hit the backcountry. Um, but again, be safe, be careful, be smart, and get out there and have some fun. Uh, on this day in 1775, 1775, the American Revolution began in Lexington, Massachusetts. 1897 was the first Boston Marathon. So this year was the 128th running of the annual Boston Marathon, started 1897. 1958, the first Major League Baseball game in the West was played between the Dodgers and the Giants, and the Giants won handily, I think, eight zip. Uh, Dudley Moore's birthday, and actor Tim Curry and Ashley Judd's birthday, also Kate Hudson. Also a couple great local friends of mine, uh, Camille Miller's birthday over at the Fun Shop. Happy birthday Camille Miller and Christy Hugelman who had the, uh, the sweet popcorn, what do you call that? Um, popcorn business at the village in the summertime. Christy Hugelman, it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. Make today the best day ever. I'll see you on the slopes or roaming around somewhere. It's beautiful out. Yeah. And John just like, oh yeah, I named that. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. He worked at Mammoth Mountaineering forever. Yeah. Right. Thank <laughs> you.